Hi there, welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on probabilities. So in this video, we will discuss some of the more extra questions which are very important for the exam point of view and if you have to clear the concepts, right? So let's discuss the first question which is question number one. Now, the question says that a recent survey found that the ages of the workers in a factory is distributed as follows. So these are the distribution of the ages of the workers, right? And if a person is selected at random, we need to find the probability that the person is 40 years or more. This is the first part and second part says that it's under 40 years, right? So we need to solve these type of question, right? So let's see how we can solve the question. So first part says under 40 years or let's say first part says more than 40 years or 40 years. So this means we have to consider the data from this point, right? Because it says 40 years or more. So we need to add these three. So we can say that number of workers let's say number of workers above or let's say a number of workers for 40 years or more right so let's say to add it so 86 plus 46 plus 3 right so when you add them it will come out to be 135 right so we can say that the probability of 40 years or more it will be equals to number of workers 40 years or more right upon total number of workers right so this will come out to be 135 upon 200 right now how does the 200 comes so we need to add this all right so when you add them let's say we add 38 plus 27 plus 86 plus 46 and 3 so when you add them right so it, this will come out to be 200 so you have to be very careful how many workers are there you, you have to be very full-fledged with the data right so when you solve this or when you simplify it so that this will come out to be 27 upon 40 right so let's discuss the second part of this question so second part says that under 40 years so means the ages of the workers should be under 40 years so we need to consider the data from this point so this data right so we need to add this data so we can write over here number of workers under 40 years will be 38 plus 27 right so when you add them it will come out to be 65 so we can say that the probability under 40 years it will be 65 upon 200 so when you simplify it it will come out to be 13 by 40 right so this is how we have to solve these type of question so let's discuss the next question which is question number two so the question says that over the past 200 working days the number of defective parts produced by a machine is given in the following table so this is the number of let's say one defective zero defective part produced it's in 50 days let's say 50 days the zero defective part is produced so this is a type of data is given right so what we need to do is we need to determine the probability that tomorrow's output will have what is the first part it says no defective part and second part says that at least one defective part and third part says that not more than five defective parts and the last part says that more than 13 defective parts right so let's see how we can solve this type of question so it's very important question right so first part says no defective part right so we can say that number of days number of days with no defective part it will be 50 you can see clearly over here right so we can say that now we have 200 working days total so we have a total over here so we can say that the probability that no defective part it will be equals to number of days with no defective part upon total number of days right so this will come out to be 50 by 200 so when you solve it it will come out to be 1 by 4 right so this is how we solve the first part now let's discuss the second part now the second part says that at least one defective part so this means that there should be one or more than one defective part so this means we have to add the data all over from here right so this means now here is a tricky part we have the data for zero defective part now we are they are asking at least one or more defective part so this means if we take out 50 from 200 
let's say if we take out 50 from 200 it will come out to be 150 so this means total 150 days we have at least one or more than one defective part right so you have to be very smart over here how we need we need not to add all this data right so you have to be very careful so we can say that number of days with at least one defective part it will be 200 minus 50 so this will come out to be 150 right so we can say that now probability that at least one defective part will be equals to number of days with at least one defective part right upon total number of days right so this will come out to be 50 let's say 150 upon 200 right so this will come out to be 3 by 4 right now third part is not more than five defective parts not more than five defective parts it means that means at most five defective parts so this means we have to add the data all from over here right so we can say that number of days with at most five defective parts it will be equals to we need to add them all so let's say we add 50 plus 32 plus 22 plus 18 plus 12 plus 12 right so when you add them it will come out to be 146 right so we can say that the probability not more than 5 defective parts it will be equals to number of days with at most 5 defective parts upon total number of days so this will come out to be 146 upon 200 right so this will come out to be 73 upon right now the last part says that more than 13 defective parts so more than 13 defective parts now if you can see clearly we have a defective parts data till over 13 right so not more than 13 so this means number of days with more than 13 defective parts will be 0 right so we can say over here let's discuss the fourth part so we can write number of days with more than 13 defective parts it will be equals to 0 so we can say that now probability more than 13 defective parts it will be equals to 0 upon 200 so this will be 0 right so this is how we have to solve these type of probability question right now let's discuss the next question which is question number 3 now the question says that bulbs are packed in cartons each containing 40 bulbs right so in each carton there are 40 bulbs now 700 cartons are there so I mean there are 700 cartons were examined for the defective bulbs and the result were are given in the following table so this is a result for the defective bulbs and this is a frequency let's say for the zero defective there are 400 and for one defective there are 180 so this is the data given now one carton was selected at random what is the probability that it has no defective bulbs right so first part second part says that defective bulbs range from 2 to 6 and third part says that defective bulbs are less than 4 right so let's see how we can solve this question now the first part says that no defective bulbs so we can say that or we can say number or frequency with 0 defective bulbs are 400 right so we can say that now the probability that no defective bulb it will be equals to number or frequency with zero defective bulb upon total number right so this will come out to be zero upon 400 right so the probability is right now over here the common mistake would be that there are zero defective bulbs now the student can make a common mistake is number is zero no the number is 400 and the cartons are 700 so you have to be very careful what we are writing so the data overcome will over here is 400 over 700 right so the probability is 4 by 7 so you have to be very careful with the data what is the data is given right now the second part says that defective bulbs ranges from 2 to 6 so this means from over here till over here we need to add this all data right so we can say that the frequency with 2 to 6 defective bulbs 48 plus 41 plus 18 plus 8 plus 3 so when you add them 
it will come out to be 118 right so we can say that now probability that defective bulbs from 2 to 6 it will be equals to frequency with 2 to 6 defective bulbs it will be equals to 118 upon 700 right so when you simplify it it will come out to be 59 upon 350 right so this is how we solve the question now the last part says that defective bulbs less than 4 right so this means less than 4 so we need to add all this data right so we can say that the frequency with defective bulbs less than 4 it will be equals to 400 plus 180 plus 48 plus 41 right so we need to add these so it will be 400 180 48 41 so it's 9 8 16 so it will be 669 right so we can say that now the probability that defective bulbs less than 4 it will be equals to frequency with defective bulbs less than 4 upon total number right so this will come out to be 669 upon 700 right so this is how we solve these type of questions so again you have to be very careful about the total number of data and how we have to select the data right so probability all matters about the data and what what is given in the question so you have to be very very cautious in the examination right so in the end i can say that thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching further videos have a nice day ahead <laughs>